Hello everybody. How are you guys doing this day? I know you are blessed and highly favored. Well, I am Pastor Francis and I'm back again with another word that we believe will be such a great encouragement to you. And we bless each and every one of you on today. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you that your word will minister grace and favor to everyone in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We are excited again to be with you. All right, we're talking about the blessing of Abraham. And we've been going through the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the first through the 14th verse. But on today, we're going to be sharing with you from verse 11 and verse 12. The blessing of Abraham, it's for you because you have received Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. So we're going to be talking about a surplus of prosperity. Let's read verse 11. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods and the fruit of your body and the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your ground. And the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. Uh, get ready for a surplus of blessings. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods. Plenty. And we know that God, when he says plenty, he means more than enough. No lack, saints of God. So you will have plenty of everything. More than enough. Abundance of all good things. A surplus of prosperity, saints of God. It really do mean more than enough. So you will have more than enough for you and your household. You will have much left to be a blessing to others. Because God has blessed you to be a blessing to others. So plenty of goods, plenty of prosperity in every area of life, plenty wealth, plenty of good things, and beautiful things, for he will give you houses full of all good things. Notice I said he will give. The blessing of Abraham will cause houses to be given to you. In the book of Deuteronomy, the 6th chapter and the 11th verse, it talks about houses full of all good things. For God wants you to enjoy prosperity, saints of God. Our God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. He takes pleasure and you being blessed. The scripture says that it is the Father's good pleasure to give to you the kingdom. So relax and receive. Take all that belongs to you, for you are in covenant with God and it belongs to you. So be blessed. Let me read this scripture to you from the Amplifier, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter and the 11th verse. And the Lord shall make you a surplus of prosperity. He shall make you the Lord, not man, not your education, not your job, but the Lord. That's where our trust and our confidence is in God. A surplus, which means more than the amount needed. That's the kind of God that we serve. He doesn't just give you just enough, but he always gives you more than enough. Yes, 
So God will bless you, saints of God, beyond your wildest dreams. Ephesians 3 and 20, it says, He will do exceedingly, abundantly, far above anything that you can ask, anything that you can think of, anything that you can desire, anything that you can dream of, uh, far above any prayer that you pray. And how many of you know we pray some big prayers? Because we serve a big God. But this dynamite God that we serve, this loving God that we serve, He says, I will do exceedingly, abundantly, above every prayer that you pray. Above every dream that you dream. I will do exceedingly, abundantly, far above your highest prayer, your highest desire. God is the God of miracles. He's the God of increase, thanks of God. And he has more than enough. He says he wants you to receive increase, you and your family and them that are far off. He is not a selfish God. He is a giving God. He is a loving God. So the blessing of Abraham will cause you to live in the land of more than enough. Let's go on to verse number 12. Talking about treasures from heaven. Deuteronomy 28 and 12. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens. To give rain to your land in its season. And to bless all the work of your hands. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Oh, I want to live there 24-7. Come on in. Come in agreement with me so we can live there together, saints of God. The Lord says he's going to open to you his good treasure, the heavens. To give you rain in your season. So he's going to open up the storehouse to you. And you know his storehouses are overflowing. You know in the book of Malachi the third chapter. He said bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. That there may be food in my house. And prove me in this thing. And see if I will not open up for you the windows of heaven. And pour out for you such a blessing. That you will not have room enough to receive. Wow. That God is still speaking to us today, for he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Just like he did it for Joseph, he raised him up. And everybody from all around the world had to come to Joseph. And storehouses was open, and he was blessed and able to put the price on everything. I'm telling you, when God opened up the storehouse for you, he gives you the ability to set the price you want to charge for your business. Glory be to God. Because he knows that when you bring forth increase to your house, you are going to bring what belongs to him to the house of God. Oh, God is good. So the Lord will open his good treasure. He will open the storehouse to you. To open, you know, it means to throw wide open and let the blessings flow. Mine. Let me read it from the CEV. The Lord will open the storehouses of the sky. Listen to it from the message. God will throw open the doors of his sky vaults. Ooh, God is going to do it. Bless God. He will give you rain for your land. And you know, rain, symbolic of blessings. Let me share this awesome prophetic dream that I had. My, really, it was a vision. I was looking outside of my bedroom window, and I saw buildings going up quickly. They was going up fast. It was the city of destiny, and I saw cars moving by. Nothing was driving in slow motion. They was driving by fast, and the building was going up quickly. So, 
God is doing quick things, saints of God. He is in a rush to get things done because Christ Jesus cannot come back until this great gospel is preached all over the world. Everyone will have an opportunity to hear the gospel of the good news. And then the end can come, but not until then. He wants the gospel of the good news to be demonstrated all over the world. He wants the world to know that he's God and he's God alone. And when you put your trust and your confidence in him and when you know who you are and who you belong to, my God, he will display you and make it known. So get ready, saints of God, because you are blessed to be a blessing. Deuteronomy 6 and 10, he said, I give you buildings. I will give you cities you did not build. You got to have faith for that. And I know that you do. So mix faith with the word because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And you hear the word of God on today. So I encourage you to mix faith with the word that you are hearing on today and believe God for him to give you buildings and cities you did not build. Glory. How about the city of David? How about the city of destiny? Come on up in here, saints of God. God got great things in store for you. Deuteronomy 28 and verse number 12 from the Message Bible. God will throw open the doors of his sky vaults and pour rain on your land. Unscheduled, glory be to God, and bless the work of your hands. Oh my goodness. These hands are anointed. These hands have been blessed by Almighty God. So whatever you touch with your heart, with your mind, with your hands, expect increase. Expect everything that you touch to prosper and turn to gold. God is a good God. He will bless all the work of your hand. So your job will be blessed. Your business will be blessed. Oh my goodness, thanks to God. Everything that you undertake, your occupation, your career, everything will be blessed. Because God says, I will bless the work of your hands and I will bless the work also. So look out, saints of God, and get ready to be blessed. My, let me read Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, in the ninth verse. The Lord your God will make you abound in all the work of your hand. He will make you abound, saints of God, in the fruit of your body. In the increase of your livestock, yes, he will. And in the produce of your land for good. Ah, oh, he's good. Now, let me read Deuteronomy 30 and 9 from NLT. It says, the Lord your God will then make you successful in everything you do. Oh, isn't that good, saints? In everything. The scripture says that you will lend and not borrow. Oh, let me read that from the NLT. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. Oh, my, my, my. Let me read it from the message. It says you will lend to many nations, but you yourself won't have to take out a loan. Say, I want to live in that land. That's the land called more than enough. That's the promised land, Canaan. It's for every believer. Well, thanks of God. I think I need to stop right here. So be with me next week when we come back with more on the blessing of Abraham. So may I encourage you to connect with the New Dimensions Destiny Center International and follow us on our social media platforms. I encourage you to like it to share it, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, remember, we walk by faith, we live by faith, we are strong in faith, giving glory to God. Bye-bye. We love you.